Hey everyone, my name is Kevin, and you're watching Learning Old Germanic Languages. I am happy to announce that the channel has hit 4,000 subscribers. I thank all of you who are, well, subscribed, not subscribed. Um, for those of you who just found this video or have been watching me from the start to the middle, or you just found me just now. I'm very thankful for all those of you who supported me on Patreon and those who didn't support me on Patreon, that's okay too. Um, it just goes to show that when you're really passionate about something, you know, YouTube is one of those uh, platforms when one can share what they like. And, you know, and then because there's someone else out there that enjoys the same thing too. And I'm very happy and pleased that I've been able to share something I've been interested in with all you guys. It truly means a lot that I've had this channel for so long uh, in comparison to my other channel, my first channel, uh, Ler and Alt English, which is uh, primarily uh, solely on Old English, while this channel, for those of you who are new, are on every old Germanic language that isn't Old English or, or, or languages, well, Germanic languages that are roughly around the same time of Old English. And uh, for those of you who are from Ler and the Alt English and, and have found this channel, uh, learning the other old Germanic languages around the same time of Old English, you get a better picture of Germanic languages of this time. And by this time, we're talking about roughly early Middle Ages to the beginning of the late Middle Ages. So roughly around, give or take, uh, 7th century to all the way to 11th century, uh, almost to the uh, 12th century, right? So because 12th century, uh, definitely you're getting into the middle languages, such as in the case with um, uh, German, from Old High German to Middle High German. And as an aside, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, Old High German is properly understood uh, as a group of dialects, a group of West Germanic dialects. Okay. Um, you know, I'm really glad that I've, I've had this channel and, and it, it has given me an intellectual break, so to speak, from uh, Old English, as well as this channel. Um, one of one of the inspirations for making this channel is to inspire other people to to look into their own Germanic language, and providing uh, sources uh, and places to learn from it. Right? I mean, because uh, as far as I know, to learn these early medieval languages, you would have to go to academia, or you would have to really look out on the internet to find this stuff. So I'm I'm very happy that I'm among the few that have done a lot of research or so to speak and have made content in these uh, said languages and uh, provided them here on YouTube for all of you to enjoy. I'm very happy. I'm very happy for this for this achievement and this is the um, one of many achievements that I hope uh, to see uh, going forward with this channel. After all, uh, I do have a uh, subscriber goal count, if that, if that makes sense, of hitting 10,000 subscribers on this channel. We're at 4,000, but I believe in good time, we'll make it to 10,000. Um, it really warms my heart that, uh, that I've made this milestone because given the, a lot of reading I've done, uh, a lot of, um, like what I like and a lot of creativity I put into this channel. So it's not just purely language learning. Well, there is language, there are different kinds of teaching, right? So like for those of you who are familiar with my work with, uh, with my old English channel, that uh, I don't only do lessons, so to speak. I also do songs, I do stories, I do um, sometimes poetic works or, or what have you just to play with the language. And it goes to show that, that there is enough of it out there that you could create your own content. And uh, even the, the, the source material is gr great of itself because 
uh, you know, especially with old, with old Alemannic uh, alliterate, alliterated poetry. I know that really sounds to some people that may sound really nerdy, but um, but for those of you who actually looked into it, looked into uh, the old old High German dialects and and the poetry related to that, it's it's very beautiful stuff, uh, very word witty, should I say? And, and there you go, that's another alliteration right there, word witty. So you know, guys, thank you so much for being with me on this channel uh, for being me uh, for being with me on this journey of this channel because it goes to show that there are people out there who share your interests uh all over the globe and it really warms my heart um as a as a posi- positive message i want to say a quote that um and it, and it goes as follows whatever action is performed by a great man, common men follow in his footsteps. And whatever standards he sets by exemplary acts, all the world pursues. So, hopefully this channel has inspired you to to um, either pursue academia related to this period or what have you, or even, not only just myself, but you yourself, uh, 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 all of you of watching uh, right now, you know, you yourself can inspire someone by your own example. You know, I mean, I'm no, I'm not only just sharing these words just like that. You know, like hopefully the things I'm saying inspire you to be, you know, become a great example of yourself for others as well. All right. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Um, it really means a lot, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. Take care.